Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about NMOS inverter. We know the inverter which is a CMOS type. Suppose if you want to see the CMOS inverter, how we will make a CMOS inverter? <coughs> CMOS. What do you mean by CMOS? CMOS is nothing but complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Complementary metal oxide semiconductor. complementary metal oxide semiconductor <coughs> that means it is having some push pull configuration and it is consisting of both pmos and as well as nmos pmos and nmos it consists of both the devices DMOS transistor and as well as NMOS transistor. Whereas the PMOS transistor is connected in the pull up place and NMOS transistor is connected in the pull down place. So, what do you mean by pull up and pull down? See, this is the construction of CMOS where it is the pull up transistor, nothing but PMOS transistor, it is the pull down transistor hope you know the basic uh, symbols of pmos and nmos this is vdd and it is vss or we can call it as ground where the output is connected between these two see this is pmos transistor whose source is connected to vdd and drain is connected to the output and this is NMOS transistor whose drain is connected to the output and source is connected to the ground. That means both the sources of the transistors are connected to power supply rails and the drains of the transistors are taken as the output terminal. Always this is the structure. Okay. So now PMOS transistor when the when when let us consider when input is equal to zero. When input is equal to 0 volts or we can say logic 0 then what happens PMOS transistor comes into on state PMOS transistor comes into on state and NMOS transistor comes into off state for the zero input as this PMOS transistor is in on state the output goes to logic high because there is a connection direct connection between VDD and output that's why output is equal to VDD that means there is a current path directly from output to the from VDD to the output. That means when PMOS transistor is in on state, it makes the output to high. It pulls up the output. That's why the PMOS transistor is known as pull-up transistor. Suppose when in, input is equal to 5 volts or VDD, then PMOS transistor is in off state and NMOS transistor is in on state okay so as NMOS transistor is in on state there is a direct output connection between output and the ground so output goes to zero output is equal to zero volts okay that means when NMOS transistor is in on state it pulls down the output to zero that's why it is pull down transistor so in this way we are going to construct the cmos inverter with the help of both pmos and nmos this is normally the cmos inverter we call it as cmos inverter <coughs> i will write here this is cmos inverter <coughs> why it is cmos inverter as it consists of both pmos and nmos it is cmos configuration and why it is inverter uh, see the input and outputs Input is equal to 0, output equal to VDD. Input equal to VDD, output equal to 0 volts. That's why it is inverter. Now, what is our concept? NMOS inverter. What is our concept? NMOS inverter. So, how NMOS inverter can be constructed with the same logic? NMOS inverter. So, NMOS inverter. What should be the meaning of NMOS inverter? In the CMOS inverter, one is P-type, another one is N-type. 
But in the NMOS inverter, as the name is clearly NMOS, both the transistors must be of N type. That means in the pull up place, in the pull up place, we should have NMOS device, and in the pull down place, we should have NMOS inverter <coughs> here. Whereas we are taking the output between these two. This is VDD and this is ground VSS. Input should be given here. Anywhere either at the pull up or pull down that depends upon the configuration where we are using. Generally other than CMOS inverter we will give input directly to the pull down only. Okay, We will not go to the pull up. Now what are the different realizations that we have with the help of this NMOS inverter? Either we can use, there are two different types of NMOS transistors, two types of the NMOS transistors available, NMOS configurations, we can say NMOS modes of operation. Modes of operation, <coughs> what are they? One is enhancement mode. enhancement mode of operation and the second one is depletion mode of operation depletion mode of operation that means one thing is in the pull down place whatever we have used for the CMOS inverter case nothing but enhancement mode NMOS transistor here also we will use the same enhancement on mode mode NMOS transistor for <coughs> NMOS inverter. The only change is in terms of pull up place. Okay. So, the main important point here is the pull down transistor, pull down transistor is always. Enhancement mode pull down transistor is always an enhancement mode NMOS device. Okay, only the change is in the pull up transistor. So, pull up transistor or pull up device pull down pull up device or pull up transistor may be of enhancement mode or depletion mode NMOS for the NMOS inverter okay so most generally we use depletion mode most commonly we use depletion mode NMOS device depletion mode NMOS device why we are using depletion mode because it does not need any external input voltage in the depletion mode the transistor is set to be on always so the NMOS inverter configuration will be like this see here we will be having a depletion mode transistor in the pull up place and enhancement mode transistor in the pull down place. In the depletion mode we have an indication with respect to the channel. Okay, channel should be there. This is the enhancement mode NMOS in transistor where the input is connected. This is NMOS device enhancement mode operation and it is the NMOS device in depletion mode of operation. This is VDD and this is the input for this NMOS depletion mode and this is VSS and here is the place where we are taking the output. Okay, everything is fine. What about the input here? What we have to give? How much voltage we need to give here? What is the purpose of giving the input for any NMOS transistor to make the transistor on? 
the input at the gate terminal this is the gate terminal okay the input at this gate terminal purpose is to make the transistor on that means on means that our channel needs to be created but fortunately in the depletion mode channel is already created by the ion implantation process that means the transistor comes up with the channel itself hence we no need to go for the creation of channel that means we no need to give the input here okay that means we can give zero volts we can give zero volts because there is no purpose of the gain to source voltage as the channel is already created the input purpose is to create the channel but as channel is already created there is no purpose of giving the again input voltage <coughs> so zero volts zero volts is nothing but we can make this gate and so source are drain this one needs to be short circuited okay that means here no voltage we are giving no voltage we are giving between these two terminals that's why it is zero potential gate and drain are short circuited means it exhibits some low resistance gate and source are gate and sorry gate and drain are short circuited gate and drain are shorted means a small signal low resistance existed okay simply it is like it is acting like a resistor it is acting like a resistor that is made up of the nmos transistor okay this is acting like a resistor made up of nmos transistor so simply it is acting like inverter now let us check how it is acting as inverter so when input is equal to zero when Vn is equal to 0 volts, what happens? NMOS transistor, which is in enhancement mode, NMOS enhancement mode is what about that condition? Off. When input is equal to 0, as the input is directly connected to the enhancement mode, the transistor is in off state. So, as this transistor is in off state, and in the pull up place, we have a transistor which is always in on state. So, there is a current flow from VDD through this NMOS depletion mode transistor and then output. So, output is equal to VDD as the depletion mode transistor is in on state always. Next, when input is equal to VDD, the NMOS enhancement mode comes into on state. NMOS enhancement mode comes into on state. So, as this transistor is in on state, there is a static current flow from VDD through this NMOS depletion mode transistor and then enhancement mode transistor to the ground. That's why V out is equal to <coughs> 0 volts. V out equal to 0 volts because there is a static current flow existed from VDD to ground. Okay. So, in this way, it is also acting like inverter. See, in when input equal to 0, output equal to VDD. When input equal to VDD, output equal to 0 volts. Okay. So, this is what the basic construction of the NMOS inverter. Now, let us see the characteristics of this NMOS inverter. Uh, characteristics are nothing but we can say VI characteristics. We can say VI characteristics. So, VI characteristics are nothing but here x-axis we are having the voltage and y-axis we are having the current. Okay. This is x axis we are having voltage which is nothing but VDS and on y axis we are having the current IDS. Okay, always you will write the VA characteristics for the mass transistor between these two. This is 0, 
for different input voltages vgs voltages we are having different characteristic curves for the anise mnemo transistor okay this is for vgs is equal to something like 0.2 vdd this is for 0.4 vdd and it is for 0.5 vdd and so on now all these are for enhancement mode transistor now if you draw the characteristics for the depletion mode transistor let us consider another color to show the difference initially when there is no vds voltage applied that means at vds is equal to zero we will be having maximum current maximum current and as the vds increases the current starts decreasing and the transistor enters into pinch off region channel breaks down and current completely goes to zero okay the point of intersections of these three at this particular points output is equal to input you can say okay so these are the characteristic curves for the vgs is equal to zero for this depletion mode of transistor okay depletion mode of transistor we are not giving any vgs voltage because vgs is equal to zero we have short circuited the gate and drain terminals okay this is what the characteristic curves of this enhancement mode transistor and depletion mode transistors on the same platform okay suppose if you want to write the nmos inverter transfer characteristics between v input and v output uh, let us write the transfer characteristics transfer characteristics transfer characteristics are nothing but between input and output input voltage and output voltage this is the input voltage and it is the output voltage <coughs> okay so when input is equal to zero output is equal to maximum when input is increasing slowly output goes to zero slowly so these are the characteristics here different different curves that means it may be closer to zero or it may be away from the zero that depends upon the pull up to pull down ratio of the n mass inverter which is nothing but z p u by z p d pull up to pull down ratio decreasing then the curves will be going away from this zero but if z p u by z p d increases then the curve nearest to zero okay and this is the curve that indicates v in is equal to v out at this particular point we will be having <coughs> output is equal to input this generally occurs at uh, one place in one curve these are the characteristics and nmos inverter operation 